Well, <laughs> I'm continuing the gameplay, but I'm not at home. I managed to find some time to record like a couple clips while I'm on a vacation. You have a new shot of me, leg shot and crotch shot. I tried my best to recreate what I'm doing in the studio, but I think I'm gonna be fine. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's the news. Oh shit, my ass off. <laughs> So we are on our way to save Quill. That's the beauty of quest recordings. You can do it. Whatever you are. make them shoot each other but chakrans really seem OP yes dust yourself off guess there's nothing else <laughs> Bye. Oh, there's a whole underground, okay. So that drop was pretty serious. No wonder Grandpa died. Can you move? What? Are you frozen in time or something? Okay, she moves now. Wait. What's wrong? I basically had to restart the whole chapter. A bit annoying when I'm on the schedule, but it is what it is. Well, we're not going down. <laughs> I mean, there's no other way. I can essentially drop now. That works. <laughs> cool. I can jump, yeah. Not like that. <laughs> There's a hammer mechanism. Means we should get it soon. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. 
I don't see it happening with the climbing and stuff. Maybe this hammer kinda activates those mechanism. Yeah, because I saw like in the home base, the crown base. Okay. What about it? Probably with a hammer as well. I should manage to hit it somehow. Okay. That's hard. All right. My way of doing things. Well, uh, I got you. Sahima heard something echo from the depths below. She inched her way to the edge to get a better look. Oh, all right. After a jolting drop, Sahima was met by a blade. I'm a friend, she assured. Offering her chakram. A friend would have thrown a rope. The stranger countered. Oh. From the wreck I've seen up there, you're better off down here. You're alone then? Sahima nodded as the stranger relented her blade, unable to see the towering reader. We defeated Sarfog and countless forged soldiers, but then. That owl! I lost everything. My best friend and my uncle Argus. I'm Heath Steel. <laughs> this was Quill? The champion Adurin had babbled on about? But she was so small and unassuming. Wait. You slayed Sarfog? Blurted Sahima, unconvinced. Yes. My reader and I did. A reader helped you. Sahima couldn't hold back. They don't belong in our world. She could feel the piercing energy from the reader as she spoke. Where I come from, we learn never to be tempted by the power of those monsters. I help you as well. The hell? Monsters? No, we were twofold. Quill defended. They were big when I needed to be bigger, strong when all was stacked against me. You're wrong about them, and we're wasting time. I've got to finish my uncle's plan. Sahima had never heard anyone speak of a reader in that way. As if they were one in the same. Like family. Cause we are Sahima. You won't understand it. Sahima's curiosity was piqued. Tell me then, what's this plan of yours? To end the arcane once and for all, said Quill with chilling intensity. 
As soon as I can climb out of here, I'll go straight to the Foundry and crush the Warden of the Forged Army. Then I'll face that owl, avenge my uncle, and take back the glass he entrusted me to protect. Sahima felt stirred by young Quill's confidence. If she and the Reader were truly twofold, then they were the only chance to save Moss from Tylen. Well, I guess she got over the uncle's death. And you plan to do this alone? Asked Sahima. Barnard may still be in the chamber beneath the throne. Quill revealed. Barnard the Unbreakable is alive? Sahima knew then what she had to do. Her burden could be their savior. And as she threw Quill the winter glass, Sahima shared her mother's dying words. A reader's will over Moss falls solely on the one they've chosen. So don't mess this up. Well, that's nice. Now give me back the quill book. Yeah. <laughs> we back. That plan of yours? Count me in. I'm Sahima, by the way. Keep the chakram. I'll find the mage while you take down the warden. Quill studied the glass. It wasn't hers, or the king's glass. It shone with a violet gleam. The last glass in all of moss. Hiya! Quill couldn't believe her eyes. Is it really you? Where have you been? Quill realized then how little she knew about readers. <laughs> what she did know was she had missed her friend very much. Ah, damn it, this game. Wait, so Quill can use chakrams now? Whoa, like, can I switch it? Okay, like in the equipment menu. Oh, I give you. <laughs> I think you use it the same as Sahima. Interesting. And then we would switch in combat, maybe? I like Chakram's combat, but Swords mechanics. We'll see. While we get out. Quill approached her uncle's grave while the mysterious warrior paid her respects. I didn't know Commander Argus, only his legend. Aww. Will felt the impossible weight of leaving her uncle for the last time. The only way to truly honor him would be to finish his plan with her reader. Anything was possible. We're good. You coming? All right. Back to business with my quilla. Quill had spent her days ruminating over every detail her uncle and Barnard had planned. Now, she was finally free to start again, and hunt the Warden, who toiled somewhere in these depths. 
Now I pretty much have everything I need. Well, her. <laughs> but also... I need a hammer. So I was not mistaken. I saw actually Quill with chakras in the trailer. We'll see how the switching will work. Can be fast or not, like it depends really. Okay, fight. Damn it. So him I was not giving me, at least you do. Mixing up the mechanics now. <laughs> 